everybody. We're gonna get started. One minute and counting. I'm so excited. Are you ready for your thighs to literally bust into flames? If there has never been a moment of combustion here that just peels your muscle right off the bone, it's gonna happen. I couldn't even get through it when I was practicing. It was so good. And everybody listening, um, glute band, if you have one, um, Here's the equipment. If you have it, great. You don't have to have it. It just will enhance the experience of the ultimate leg bird and glute bird. So you need a glute band, uh, dumbbells if you have them, a target for your squats, meaning a, like a chair or a stool that sits you down and kind of catches you at the bottom. Uh, it will actually just enhance the form of your squat as well. It'll help you keep your chest up higher but on this one tap move we're doing, it'll make it a lot harder because you'll go a little deeper and you'll be more successful and some space to move if you have it. If you have the space to move, we're gonna do some stuff where we can kind of use our space for some jumps and some leaps, um, crawling. Hi, Brenda, hi, Dee. Uh, so, yay. Uh, let's get started, you guys. We're gonna do a little flow for the warm up. Um, Leah, don't judge me. I'm gonna do my best cueing. <laughs> We're gonna do some scorpions and uh, uh, planks. And actually, we only come up at one point upright. We're mostly in plank or down dog or, or uh, chevron the whole time. So I'm gonna start my music. Um, there we go. And then we're gonna get started with our first little flow to warm up. You guys get that? Yeah, good, okay. Thanks, Renda, that's the sign language I need. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're gonna start in a plank. We're gonna go scorpion, chevron, low lunge, side plank to it. You guys just need to see the side plank. Um, I'm gonna show that right now. Everything else you'll be able to just kind of do with me or watch the first round up um, and then join in. And I'm gonna cue it the whole time I'm doing it. The side plank looks like this. You're gonna go to a side plank, you can stagger, and then you're gonna bring your foot up like this, kind of stretch here, ooh, feels nice. Then you're gonna put your knee down and stretch up like that. And then you're just gonna go back to the plank and go to the other side, side plank. Hold that for a moment. Up, up, okay? So I'll cue all that, you guys. Just join me in a plank and listen. If you're unsure, just watch. We're gonna do it many times. So we're starting, and I'm gonna do this one kind of quick and then we'll slow it down. You're gonna drop all the way down to the floor, key out your arms, and go into a scorpion side to side. We're gonna do one each side. Linger for about three seconds. Ooh. And then you're gonna push up and go to a chevron. So you just launch back, almost like a child's pose, except your knees don't hit the floor. And then you're gonna come up to an up, low lunge. Maybe lighten the hand for a second of the leg that you're up on. And don't just dump down, wait for a second. Just get your legs ready. Okay, then go back to plank. Now we go to our side plank. So you're gonna open up. Ah. Then you're gonna bring your foot up. Ah, then you're gonna bring your knee down and, ooh, nice. Back to plank, side plank, other side. Foot up, knee down, up, stretch. So that's one round. Now I'm gonna do a little bit more time in each movement. So come down with me to the scorpion. Let's do four this time. The chevrons are next, we're also gonna do four. Stretch out your chest, stretch out your hip, squeeze that top leg glute, and then come push back up. You're chevroning, so bend really firm up in your plank when you come forward. Little squat prep, and then you go into your low lunges. Now, if you wanna pull your chest through, sink down a little more, now we have a little more time to do it. Yeah, nice guys, good. Hi, Sonia. Ooh. There's Heather. And then, okay, you guys, after the low lunges comes that side plank up lunge. So up 
and then up, and then we're gonna do a few of these too. Uh, up, and we switch side plank, other side, set up that side plank, set up that low lunge, and reach up. And then one more each side, side plank first, come up, down, and up. Whew. Warming up shoulders and middle, but also kind of getting your legs ready to squat a bunch. One more round. We drop down to scorpions. Four. Four of everything. Four. Chevron. Whew. Really dome up at the top of that plank. Whew. Low lunges. Now try to firm up your back leg. Maybe push back on that heat toe a little so you get a little calf stretch. Whew. And then we do our side plank ups. Whoa.
five, four, three, two. All right. We're gonna do a reverse table overhead pull. We're still kind of in the warm up phase. So I'm gonna have you go like this. Dumbbell, or two dumbbells if they're light. You're gonna go here, push your back down into the floor. We're gonna go here for 30. Then we're gonna just hold and go here for 30, okay? Easy, little upper body warm up. Whew. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. All right, <laughs> thanks, Anne Marie. <laughs> All right, you guys, here we go. 30 seconds overhead pull with feet up. Now, this is a really good time to practice isolation on your legs. They're not moving, but that doesn't mean they're just like, eh. You guys really flex your calves, flex your quads. Maybe even try to close up your pelvic floor and see what happens when you do that if your abs push down tighter and better. Woo. Abs, there they go. I just have to close up my pelvic floor. Okay, you guys, now you're gonna do the leg lift. So now just hold it, straighten out your legs and drop them down and up. Now, if you feel like, oh, I'm working my low abs now, you, you aren't. You still are working your abs, but now you've got a little more hip flexor involvement, which is fine. So it can be helpful to keep those quads on. And your abdominals are still stabilizing for sure. There's there what's helping push your low back down. Keep that weight back behind your head slightly. Four, three, two. Awesome. All right. Take your weight with you guys. We have one more move. Then we're going to just do the overhead pull. One that we just did and this one one more time. This is going to finish off your glute. So we're going to go 40 seconds each side. It's a single leg squat press. So it looks like this. You can put your back toe on the floor if you need for balance. You're going to bend your knee a lot. It's actually a deadlift. You're going to come up. And then if you have enough strength in your shoulder, you're going to press it up. Okay? All right. I'm going to start the timer. Go ahead and start. We have lots of time on this, like 45. So squeeze that glute. Whew. Here's your single leg balance, guys. We have a lunge coming. Whew. Now, if you're like me and you just always put that leg down, see if you can do one, mimicking with your leg down, but don't actually put it down. Huh. Yeah, Leah, I know you can do this one like better than me without even using that back foot. Ooh. Five seconds, guys. Three, two. All right. Other side. Here we go. Side. I'm holding it in my opposite hand. Whoa. Eee. Which gives you a little bit more, possibly, core involvement. Oh, geez. Apparently I like facing this way. Yeah. Squeeze that glute when you press. That's one of the reasons. Whoa, man, that press. Embarrassing. 10 seconds. No, I lied. You guys have 15 still. Mm. Glute. If you bend your knee more, you'll get up more in that glute. 10 seconds. Ooh. Four, three, two. All right, guys. Come down with me on the floor. That's appropriate. We come to the floor. We do one more overhead. Little muscle warm up. And then we're going to go into cardio. I have super fun intervals today. All right, so. Starting with over at 30, leg lift 30. It's easy, it's a little break. There's no more breaks after this. Where is a break? No, let's not think about it. Oh, there kind of is. All right, guys, 30, overhead. Get your weight. Woo! Low back down. Remember, feet on this bent position are flexed. Calves are flexed. Quads are flexed. Pelvic floor closed. Low back down, ribs down. Careful that your 
legs don't start coming too close to your body either. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. All right, you guys, hold it up above, maybe toward your forehead, and start doing that leg lift. Ooh. Breathe at the top. Brace as your leg goes toward the floor. Ooh. Uh. Try to keep the other leg really stable and solid when the first leg drops. You guys, five, four, three, two. Okay, single leg squat to balance. Last time, and then we're gonna go do our cardio circuits and get started. Once we know the circuits, we're gonna stay with them too for a while, so we won't throw them away. All right, guys, oops. Single arm, single leg, maybe switch leads. 45. Sit back in a chair, dig your heel in, open up. This one sneaks up on you guys, so keep breathing. Every major muscle in your body working, Heart rate coming up. Try to keep a flat back as you go down. So don't round your upper back. Keep your shoulder blades pulled together. That'll keep your upper back turned on. You guys have five more seconds. Do you finish it? Yeah, nice guys. Okay. Second side. Here we go. Sometimes you have to think about that glute even before you start to move down toward the floor to get it to respond. Whew. Think about pulling that knee out from the midline of your body because a lot of times that hip flexor and IT band will cause it to collapse in. 15 seconds. Now it's 10. Ooh. Five seconds, guys. Finish your last one or finish the one you're on. All right. We can put our weights to the side so you don't have to use them for about two minutes. Oh. Keep your target close. So you guys, I'm gonna show you the move as we get to it. So on these six moves, you can be resting. Surf or burpee, jacks or a turn jack, jump lunges or just lunges, high knees, shuffle squats, and lateral leap reverse crawl. The last two are the longest because they take the longest. The first four are 20 seconds, big deal. So I'm gonna show you the first one. You guys preview, look at it, and then start with me and then I'll rest and I'll show you the next one. Here we go, so it's here. Okay, as soon as you know it, 20 seconds, come with. Five, three, two, all right. So here's our jack. Now, here's your choice. You guys do it forward or with a little rotation. Option. 
You choose. This one gets me. Five. Three. Two. All right. Ha! Ah. Shuffle. Squat. 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 Now, go. 30 more seconds. Actually, only 20. I want you to make this as quiet as you can. Stay low. Stay soft. 10 seconds. Like you're sneaking up to the side. And then you use that squat to stop yourself. Three, two. All right. Last one, you guys. I'm going to do it toward you. And I'm going to do side view. So, lateral, leap, reverse, hit. Okay? Now that's my shorter distance. That's a lot more up and down, a lot harder. I'm going to choose this. So I don't have to get up and down so much. Reverse bear crawl. Yep. All right, guys. 30 seconds. Go. This is the last one. Woo. Ooh. You guys move it. Ten seconds, ten seconds. Stay with it, stay with it. Seven. Five. All right, that's time. Good work. All right. Remember when we talked about the glute band? This is, this is where you guys will get your glue band if you're gonna use it. Do I even have one in here? Ah, oh yeah, I do have my yellow one. My light one. Woo, okay, so get it, you guys. You don't want to put it around your kneecap, really ever, but you want it around the, if it's, if it's a heavier one, top. If it's a lighter one, under your knee, okay? So, choose one of those options. This supposedly is heavy, but I like it. It feels kind of light. And weights are gonna be up. Here's what we're doing. 30 seconds, no, 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 no. Sorry, that's second. That's our, our, that's our lunge circuit. You're gonna go 90 seconds, and I did it. And I got through two rounds only. I looked at the clock and I'm like, what the heck? I started my third. It's because I kept having to rest. You're gonna go five squats, front rack dumbbells. Five squats, front rack dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you can use one or a kettlebell or something heavy right here, or just body weight and arms can go forward to counterbalance, okay? You will need less counterbalance if you have your targets. So keep that in mind. Here we go. We're gonna go 90 seconds, five squats, 10 butt taps. Remember your butt tap option? I wish you guys could unmute so we could all scream together. It's very lonely in this room to be in pain alone. All right, dumbbells up. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. But it always feels less painful when you guys are with me for sure. Ooh. All right, and then with our weights, let's try that 10. Hesitate. Ugh. Halfway up. Oh, that was only five. Oh. Oh. Okay, I didn't get through that the first time I did it. Thank you guys. That was my 10. Then we go back to five squats. Oh. I need you to squeeze your butt at the top. Oh. time guys 10 of those little taps huh. 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 see how high you can get up without coming all the way up oh 110 huh. oh my 15 to go I first wrote this guys to do three rounds 
So we kind of lucked out. Four, three, two, time. Whoa. Okay, no weights on this. Now, if you have a platform and you want to use it, it's going to make your push up easier. You guys are going to do 90 seconds again. Five push ups, 20 climbers, 20 climbers, and five burpees. So, knee push ups fine. Look at my chart. Look at what I can do with this. Instead of doing knee push ups, I can be here, okay? I think I'm going to do that on my first one and then five burpees. So, five. 20, five. If you want to do straight arm burpees, that's fine. It just means you're going to get through it faster and end up doing more actual push-ups. So you choose. Yeah, Sonia, I like that. Good idea. You guys ready? 90, push-up. Mountain climber, 20, burpee, five, go. Ooh. Ooh. It's kind of nice to not always do knee push-ups, to stay in this incline plank instead. I first wrote this as 10 mountain climbers, but it was just too many burpees. Woo! circuits and that is the workout. <laughs> we might actually finish in 50 minutes this time. We can have more time to dance. All right, here we go. I'm going to start the timer. Oh, I'm going to start right there. And then we're going to start that dynamic up and down. Ooh, 30 seconds seems like not a long time, but if you're kind of quick on those lunges, you're going to get some freaking reps in. Oh, So I'm trying a slight hinge over my front leg, not collapsing, but putting my torso weight over that a little more. All right, go ahead and switch. I'm also trying to move that front knee slightly away from the midline and not lose control of my breathing. Huh. Burning. 10. Ha, huh. finish it, last one. All right guys, hold, I'm gonna drop one of my weights. If you have heavy, you do what you gotta do. Here's the first option, 30 seconds. You just chill here, okay? 
second, you curl and pass it. Or if you've got lightweights, you curl them both. Or you pass it under, curl it around, pass it under. Oh boy, 10 seconds. Or you just sit and chill out. Ha! Ah, four, three, two, okay. Ow. Okay, second side. Here we go. Remember your options. The lower you go, the more muscle you're gonna hit, but sometimes the more right room there is for compensations. So, know your body, guys. 15. Woo! Ow. Four, three, two, ugh. Okay, yay. Ugh. All right, move your weights out of the way. Air. We are going to do our cardio circuits. You guys show me. You guys have to keep us moving now. My legs are toast. Surfer burpee, turning jacks, jump lunges, high knees, shuffle squats, lateral leap crawl. Okay? Four, burpee, three, get ready to hop up but not stand up. Two, go. Oh. Let's see it. Ha. Can you find your glutes when you hold that squat? All right, you guys come up. Take a huge get gulp of air. Meet me here. Here's your reset or here. The bigger you make yourself, the faster you go, the more you're gonna get your heart rate up. Four. Oh boy, here we go. Jump lunges, guys. Air. Five. Two shortest ones, guys. Take a gulp of air. Remember this, this, or this. Twelve. Ten seconds to go. Move it. Yes. Higher with your knees, Katie. Three, two, time. Can you not hear me? <laughs> All right, you guys. Shuffle squats. Yup. Ha. Two more and then you're done. We're not gonna repeat them. Good, soft, sharp, stop. Sink down into it. Four, three, two, time. Oh gosh. Here we go, side view. Have some space. Lateral leap. Reverse. The reason plyos can be dangerous is because of the landings. Typically not the takeoffs, although that can be. So you guys cushion those landings with your muscles, not your joints. Sink down. Squeeze your glutes. 10, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, time. Oh. All right, you guys. That's it. That's the whole thing. So, two more rounds. We will be done in 15 minutes. Oh. I do want to do a bridge finisher, so if we have time, I wrote it in, but that's going to be so easy. It'll feel awesome to come down to that. Oh, band on, if you got it. Ooh. Now, if you were like me and you were like, oh, what hurt was everything, but not my glutes. It wasn't impossible on glutes. So maybe drop the band down to your uh, lower knee or right under your knee. 
You guys ready? Five, four, squats with the band to the target and pulse. Three, two, go. You guys don't need to have heavy, heavy weights to go to failure. It just takes a lot longer, right? It doesn't really make you stronger, but you can have muscle gain. You just gotta be able to work through that pain. Whew. Oh boy, ow. Yeah.
hanging quads, glutes, hamstrings. Four, three, two. All right. I'll give you guys five more seconds. Drop your weights if you need to. Hold it. Oh my gosh. Now, you can practice also squeezing your back glute. I feel around for the floor, then I use my QL, my abs, obliques, to pull my hip away from the floor, the back leg. Three, two, oh! I didn't even use weights on that one, I couldn't. There we go, 30. So don't let that back knee sag to the ground. I know you're reaching for the ground with it, but pull it up with your abs. Ha, huh. not there yet, not there yet. That was my cheat. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Oh my gosh. That was worse. And that was not even weighted. All right, you guys, can you carry these cardios? 20 to 40 seconds each. The hardest ones are the shortest ones. Sometimes the ones you're best at will be the hardest ones. Sur surfer Burby, just kick it off. Jacks. Three, two, go.
You guys start. Kimmy, Leah, I'm gonna tell you guys when to go. Just go. Hi, honey. And I'm gonna get my band on and do my dumbbells. So get, get up, guys, get them up, yep. 90 seconds. Three, two. Yeah, Sonia, go, yep, take us away, baby. Here we go. Uh-huh. You guys, push those glutes back. Keep your kneecaps away from me. Hi, Lou. I miss you, bud. Ooh. Remember, it's the glute squeeze at the top that's life also. Learn how to fully close up. Mm. All right, guys, we have five and 10. I did five. I had to break. Ugh. You guys are just about a minute in. 30 seconds to go. Ooh. Make those pulses bigger than smaller. Ooh. 15 seconds, guys.
Woo. 10 seconds. Yes, you can. Three, two, okay. Weightless, half weight, weighted. You choose your challenge. Three, two, here we go. Ooh, yep. Maybe you go heavy and just pull it halfway, okay? See if you can find that front glute and get it to squeeze a little harder. Four, three, two. All right, you guys, come up. Take a breath. Ooh, three, two, second side. Last time. What did I say, guys? 15 minutes. We're going to be done. 15, 20 seconds. Then we have one, or 20, yeah. Then we have one more cardio circuit. Pull your shoulders back. Finish like a warrior, guys. Finish better than you started. Oh my gosh, you guys have five seconds. Ah, cheat. Okay, five, four, three, two, ugh. Ha. Ah. Fire, fire, fire. Burn, burn, burn. Done, done, done. Ha. Ah. All right, you guys, carry these for me. If I stop, that doesn't mean you're done. Try to keep going until I say time. I'm not going to be able to finish these. What do we do first? Oh! I, I know why I put this one in here because no one can see. Ha <laughs> ha, that I'm resting. Surf or burpee, surf or burpee. Three, two, go. So you guys, keep going. Not only do your glutes move you up and down, they also stabilize your pelvis. They help stabilize your torso. So use them here just for everything, not just for the jump. All right, time. Meet me. Turn them if you want. 15 seconds. You guys, 10 seconds. Eight. Four. Three. Two. Oh no. There we go. Just move, guys. I remember what I meant to do with these is make them side hop jump lunges. I know why I didn't though. I couldn't do it. Five, four, three, two. All right, shuffle squats. No, high knees. Choose it and do it. 15 seconds. Five, three, two, now shuffle squats. Twenty, twenty, keep moving, keep moving, Sonia. Go, Heather. It actually looks like you're moving in fast motion. Come on, Kisa. Ten seconds is all, guys. You're almost done with the hard part. Five, you are gonna be so relieved when you are done. We have one more thing, time. Lateral lunge, lateral leap, reverse crawl. Let's finish this. Think of it as almost a mini squat when you land. And then you're gonna get farther when you start jumping, if you have room. Otherwise, if you're a little cramped, just go a little faster to the side. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, time. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let me see what our final consensus. Oh man, okay, yeah, I like. We went 20 minutes, not, not 15. All right, you guys, we're gonna stretch. Walk around, get some water. I'm gonna add in a little dance party to the stretch. Whew. So I'm gonna meet you in a balance. We're gonna actually start with one standing, then we're gonna do one, um, uh, one down dog like like pigeon type stretch at, on the floor. Let me see. Ooh, I know what I want. 
<laughs> I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. And then side body stretch to the left. So your right leg is the one behind. Oh, center. And then stay here with legs. We're just going to send it over. IT band stretch on the right side. Ooh, I like you guys so much. It's so much less painful to do it together. And I'm so grateful for that. Come halfway up. All the way up, uncross. Deep breath in last time. Oh, let it go. Thank you guys for inviting me into your houses. I like it so much, and I'll see you next Saturday. Saturday, 9.15. Thanks, Thanks Kisa. Is it, am I saying it right, Kisa? Yeah, no, yeah, that's perfect. Because I know I met you before, but sorry. I know. Well, I, I, by <laughs> luck, I just happened to be able to be here today, so thank you well, so great. much. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Sonia. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Um, good. 
Bye. Thank you, Brenda. Thanks for coming, babe. Always love having you. Love having you, Heather. Thanks, Mary. Um, love your friends. Um, yeah, I'm just hanging on, just like I'm mostly at I'm I'm mostly on Zoom and in the park. Um well, in the park and at my house, but um, I just told Ashley I'm, I'm not going to come back to train there in the foreseeable future because I just can't be, I train too many old people to be in the gym and risk getting them sick. So, yeah. so. especially since you had H1N1, you probably don't want to get it again because it wiped out your lungs. And it then. wiped out my, totally. And I'm taking massive like mushrooms and like stuff to try to like, like lung health stuff. And mm -hmm. I've like seriously, Sonia never felt better. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I just it's not to be in Portland too, breathing the air. It's clearer where you are, right? Up top. Yeah, it's like the air is a little cleaner. Maybe right now. I never thought about that. I'm 500 mm -hmm. feet elevation. You just be enough. You make it above the diesel fumes. And that is so Sonia. Road. I've literally <laughs> never thought about that. That is so interesting. Maybe I'm gonna use that as a sale selling point to. Train up at my home gym yes. <laughs> and elevation <Yes>. training. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm so glad you came. Love having you. I made it. Yeah, I'm getting stronger slowly. What's I'm happening? I'm I just, you know, like, so like, I think it's the other disc in my neck. So it's the other shoulder that's medicine. Like I can't put weight on the left side now. Yeah, that's typical. I know. My, I have another. my daughter's getting physical therapy and her, her physical therapist was like, or her doctor actually told her, you need to strengthen the injured side because you're just going to injure the other side now and mm -hmm. so it's interesting because i've heard physical therapists say only train the injured side but now i see why they say you have to train both sides and just yeah. try to be equal well, i think this one was i had a disc that was bulging already and it was it was you know gonna affect this so i don't i think it might have i have to go get an x-ray but i haven't gone to the doctor for a long time so I don't know. I just don't want to do surgery because that may not be out for another year and a half. And it's like, so I've just been training on the well, bike a Well, sometimes it's nice though. Just even if you go in and get a diagnosis, it's nice to know. Um, yeah. I feel like a lot of surgeons anymore are very, um, they seem to be pretty, like give you, give you lots of options to not have to get surgery. They don't just automatically say, this is what you have to do yeah. if you want to get yeah. better. My other, my other neck injury was bad enough. They were like, you don't really have any other options, so you're going to lose that arm. So, so you did get, oh, shit. I did get one surgery, so kind of like. I don't I feel like you were out that long. Six months? Yeah, it was June I had it, so now it's been, yeah, I guess I was, because I kept coming in for other stuff, even though I didn't lift a lot above my head or anything Yeah, like that. and you know what, Sonia? You might not want, you. Uh, there comes a time where your shoulders get enough traffic on them. That's why I always give the option to not go overhead because that's just th this can be super detrimental to rotator cuff and impingement that it's just well, not worth it i don't know if i have impingement because i have really good mobility it's just that i put what right. happens is i put so up here but so you're but your really good mobility can be the, the older you get the more mobile you are the more dangerous it is because you're because it can just fall out of place Mm. So, and it doesn't mean you can't, like, if you're going to do overhead, doing stuff where you just hold instead of, yeah. you know, a lot yeah, of that. I can't, that. I can't get my arm up above don't, my head. Yeah, don't. Yeah, don't. You see me <laughs> modifying all the time. It's because I'm like, I got to save my shoulders. I'm not, I want to do pull-ups and I want to do handstands once in a while, but I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not going to do shoulder presses. I'm not going to do, you know, major stuff where I'm pushing massive weight over my head. Yeah, I did, um, yeah, <laughs> I can't even do side plank on the side anymore. It's yeah, but si that's si other muscles. Can that you do? Me. Can you do modified side plank on your I knee? Do. I, I, I modify it. I put my knee down so that I can still get a little pressure to activate the you know the obliques and stuff without hurting my shoulders. Yeah. So that's fine. Well, yeah. you can do single arm farmer carries. I mean, yeah. if, if that feels okay, that's awesome. That's like a better functional exercise than those anyway. Um, and then it works. You know, the the muscles yeah. here. Oh, yeah. All right, well, I'm glad you're still coming. I'm making it. I'm getting good. fat, but I'm getting, <laughs> I think you're in good company with that one, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> All right, love you. See you next time, babe. Bye.